everyone, my name is Walter and I'm going to go over primary keys for databases. So what are primary keys? Well, they're a way for databases to uniquely identify the difference between one record and the next. In many cases, primary keys only need to be a, a single field in a data table to uniquely identify different records. So in this, in this made up corporation of mine, I have four different jobs that, in the job code table that people can have. You can be awesome be a dog walker, be a super secret agent, and be a bad times dude. Nobody wants to be the bad times dude, but someone's got to do it. Now, in other cases, there other data tables might need more than one field identified as a primary key in what is called a composite key in order to uniquely identify one record to the next. Now, if you see here, you can't just use the employee ID as the primary key because uh, there's, there's more than one record for employee 100, which is me. Employee 100, my primary name is Walter Alcazar, but my preferred name, which is my nickname, is Super Wally, and my other name, which is another nickname, is Walnuts. Now, there are other employees here with a primary and preferred, but in order to uniquely distinguish one row to the next in the entire data table, two fields need to be used. Now, composite keys can be many fields. It can't, it's not limited to one or two or three. So in this made up corporation of mine, I have a job table with four composite keys. And these other composite keys make it so that I can continue adding data in here and updating people's records without actually overwriting or duplicating a record that already exists. Now this is very important because you need to, in, in a job table like this, it's important to histor historically track employees properly so that you know when they started, when they got raises, when they got transferred, and when they were terminated without data being erased. Well, I think that's enough. Thank you.